So nine ingredients in total. One of them is actually optional today. We've got four whole eggs plus four egg yolks, eight oaks, uh, yolks in, in total. 100 grams grass-fed unsalted butter. Now you can either use uh, 100 grams of coconut oil or a combination of coconut oil and cacao butter, which is what I'm doing today. It's about 50-50 each. The MCT oil for consistency. There's about 50 grams there. I'm using uh, two teaspoons of the vanilla powder. Uh, apologies for the application, but that is 10 drops or half a mil of apple cider vinegar. And the sweetener. Uh, the sweetener I'm using today is 80 grams. It's just around about a cup, um, just under a cup of a uh, combination of xylitol and erythritol. It goes the other way around. Uh, I'm using a combination today because I've actually run out of uh, erythritol, but they're um, sugar alcohol, so they're naturally occurring in your body. And I'm using the 20, about 25 grams of the upgraded chocolate powder. Uh, the kids have asked for chocolate ice cream today, so that's what we're going to have. Um, uh, a couple of days ago, we had matcha. Um, green tea ice cream, which was a very big hit as well. All right, let's put it together. All right, the two tools we need, I've got the Cuisine Art uh, two litre frozen yogurt sorbet maker, and my uh, favorite new kitchen appliance, which is the Ladyship. Uh, super powerful, awesome to make your bulletproof coffee, even comes with a tap on the side, you can pour it straight out of there. Um, you can even make things like nut milk and stuff. Uh, it has filters inside. Um, let's just get everything in there. So, eggs, butter, more butter, flour butter this time, the coconut oil, can't quite hit that temperature where it's running yet. XCT the xylitol and erythritol sugar the 10 drops of apple cider vinegar Two tablespoons, oh, sorry, two teaspoons. I'd like the tablespoons of vanilla powder. That noise in the background is me spilling some sugar on the table. There's the rest of it. The chocolate powder. Now that's every ingredient except for the water. I've got some chilled water there. There's about 100 grams of water. Put that into the water if you like. It on and press. Just going to scrape it off the sides, make sure we get it as creamy as possible. I'm going to add the water in now as well. Like an extremely succulent smoothie. <laughs> like a yogurt like consistency it's ready to go Thank you. 
we've got perfect store bought that better for you ice cream. All right, there we have it. it. Should come away from the mixer. It's still pretty soft. If you want it harder, you could make it leave it in there longer or put it straight in the freezer. But that is some pretty good ice cream. I'll whack it up in a bowl and show you. Right, this bit brings whole new meaning to the term licking the bowl. I've got nearly all of it out there now. I recommend using a wooden spoon, or I'm using a silicon one in this instance. Just don't want to scratch the bowl. But this is going to be mine. Mm. That is cool. Mm.